Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Market Mantra with Bhushan Sharma. In today's video, we are going to see a basic question. Many times people ask me that, sir, what is a DMAT account or what is DMAT in short? So today, let us first see what exactly we understand by the word DMAT. DMAT is actually, you know, it's abbreviation. It's not a full name. It's a short of dematerialized, dematerialization. That is called DMAT. What is the meaning of DMAT? Let us understand. Okay. You have seen earlier that investment may be in a DMAT form. What exactly does this mean? Consider earlier, say about 20 years ago, what was the scenario? The shares of companies used to be on certificates. Okay. Now, whenever somebody sells the shares, the share certificate would be sent to the company with proper documentation. On the backside of the share certificate, company will enter who is the new buyer and all and send it back to you. Okay. So shares used to be in, said to be in physical form. Now we have shares in DMAT form. What is DMAT? Let us understand that. Okay. I'll give you an example. So you'll understand this better. See, if you have a 100 rupees banknote, can you see it? Yes. Can you touch it? Yes. This is physical form of 100 rupees. Okay. Now, you go to the bank and deposit this in the bank. So what the cashier will do, he will take that note and in your passbook an entry will be printed which will say you have 100 rupees in the bank. Now how much money do you have? If I ask you that, you will say I have 100 rupees. Where are those? They are in bank accounts. Okay, great. Can you touch these 100 rupees? You can touch the passbook, not these 100 rupees. Your passbook is not 100 rupees, right? If you go with your passbook in market, <laughs> nobody is going to take it from you. Correct. Or this 100 rupees is now just an entry in your passbook. Technically, 100 rupees are with you, but not in your hand. They are in your bank. What you have in your hand? Just an entry in passbook. Okay. We say the note is now got converted to dematerialized form for you. It is in physical form for the bank, but for you, you have. Does the bank have 100 rupees? No, they are just holding your 100 rupees. Bank doesn't own that. Who owns it? Still, you are in possession of 100 rupees, but not in physical form, DMAT form, just as an entry. So now all the shares, they are in DMAT form. They will just come as an entry. If you ask your broker for the statement, the statement will show you own 100 shares of Reliance. If you say, I want to see those shares, they simply don't exist. Okay. Uh, they exist in the, not in physical form, they don't exist. What I mean, they exist. Not in real physical form. They are on the DMAT form. So, all the underlying forms are actually dematerialized form of cash, but physical form of something else. Okay. But we can touch them. So, they do have some physical form. Suppose, let us take another example. You have 10,000 rupees. Okay, you have a bundle of 100 rupee notes, 100 notes. You paid it to the jeweler and you bought gold. All right. Now, do you still have 10,000 rupees? Not in the form of cash. But now, it is in the physical form of gold, which you are holding. Correct. So, this asset is in physical form. But actually, your cash has got dematerialized and take on the form of asset. To give this asset, you can get your money back, of course. When I say gold, some price fluctuations will be there. All right. But you can convert it cash form to asset form, asset form to cash form. Right. In some cases, it just goes as an entry in passbook. Correct. So many times, you know, we convert the assets into their derivatives. What is derivative? Derivative means derived from, obtained from. This gold you converted to gold jewelry. So jewelry is a derivative of gold. Okay, if you take a piece of gold, that is gold. A coin of gold is also a derivative of gold. Piece of jewelry is also a derivative of gold. 
right? So now let us come back to our shares. What is DMAT form of shares? Shares are also in DMAT form. They come as a computer entry. All right, you can take print out. So it will come as a paper entry, but it is still in DMAT form. Records of buying, selling are kept on the computer. So when you buy the share, a computerized entry is maintained in the servers of some specialized companies who keep the track of every share transaction in from whose account it goes and in whose account it is put. All these entries will be there. But there is no share certificate going from this account to that account, just an entry going from here. Because it is in completely DMAT form. Physical form just doesn't exist. Physical form exists as a company, not as a share. Okay. So these companies, they are under the control of government of India that nobody can misappropriate it, mainly CDSL and NSDL. These two companies hold all the DMAT form shares for everybody. All the shares bought ultimately end up as computer entries in these two companies. You will find you have a holding account with these companies. When you open a share trading account, one trading account is open with your broker and a holding account is open with either of these two companies. So they will hold all the entries. There's no share certificate which is issued. All the shares are in dematerialized form, in short, DMAT. Okay. If you like the information, please press the like button, subscribe to this channel. And press the bell icon. You will come to know immediately as soon as I load any new video. Keep watching. Thanks for watching this video. And I promise you that more and more information I'll be sharing with you on this channel, Market Mantra with Bhushan Shami. Thanks for watching.